Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, friends. It's time for Scrapple News, and from high atop the Scrapple News Towers in downtown Philadelphia, IA, I am your reporter, AP Ticker. We begin this week with some follow-up on the two biggest fish caught in Pennsylvania's bonus gate scandal in which $3.8 million in bonuses paid to legislative staffers were rewards for illegal campaign work. The investigation ultimately sent former House Speaker's Democrat Bill DeWees and Republican John Purzell to the federal pen. Today, we learned that these two gentlemen are cellmates, which is good news for CBS's fall lineup. Life has been playing tricks on me lately. The network has been looking for a new sitcom ever since they canceled Shit My Dad Says. This fall. I'm sorry that I was rude to you. You didn't serve that. You seem like a very nice homosexual. <laughs> Word has it they're casting disgraced state senator Jane Orey, also bound for prison, as the female lead. A lesbian in the Navy saved my life. <laughs> you know, folks, if you're like me, by God, I know I am. After a hard day's work under the hot lights and being chased around by the staff here, I like to sit back with a cold Kensinger beer. It's made from stuff that they make beer out of. And boy, do they do a great job. Let me show you. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Isn't it fun watching people enjoy themselves? On the topic of criminals, Governor Tom Corbett continues his assault on the state of Pennsylvania, posing to give Shell Oil tax breaks of 1.7 billion, that's with a B, billion dollars over the next 25 years for an ethane cracking plant on the state's western border. Since the plant is already in tax-free Keystone Opportunity Zone, the proposed deal, which was naturally negotiated in secret, amounts to little more than a handout. And goodness knows if anyone needs help, it's the oil industry. This is a black-gilled lobster. This isn't a species. This is contamination. Finally, Daily News columnist Christine Flowers is still crazier than a bed bug on crack. <laughs> well, that's this week's news. I know that you know I'm AP Ticker. I want my own sitcom, too. Do you have any family that can drive you where you need to go? Yeah, but I've screwed that up. No matter how old your kids get, it's never too late to be a dad. After the deadly explosion at BP's Macondo Well, 4.9 million barrels of light sweet crude flowed into the Gulf of Mexico and onto the U.S. coastline. 